What's up, Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Love Pisces in this mother sucker, baby. Join me as I read you you all's lives. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Mars, Mercury up in this house. Let's see what's going down for the month of March. And happy birthday to all of my Pisces. Okay, whether this is your lunar year return, your sun return, or really it ain't no sun return shit, but y'all get what I'm saying now, don't you? Now, Pisces, <clears throat> we are going to get the overall energies of what's going down with you. I was looking for the Believe in Your Own Magic, and here it is, baby. So, we are going to be seeing about you, Pisces. And then we're going to be taking a peek at what's going down in your love life, okay? So, Pisces, light up, smoke up, toke up. Get your pills and your potions ready, baby. Let's see what's going down for the month of March I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be blessed. Okay. So, let's see what's going down, Pisces. Spirit, you are welcome into this Piscean reading. Here we go. You must sage the cards for all of my Piscean gods. All right, babies. <coughs> we're going we're gonna to come into March with a motherfucking bang, baby. <laughs> Lorel going to die on camera <laughs> for Pisces. Just for y'all, baby. So give yourself an ass clap, a hand clap, a ball clap. They do a coochie flat clap. I don't know what it is that y'all do out there, but you made it to motherfucking March. Okay. So. We had a long run, Pisces. Yes, we did. My blunt got a run too. So let's get this believe in your own magic for my Pisces for March. Oh, excuse me. Uh oh. Here we go for my Pisces. Ooh. Let's keep it classy on the camera. All right. We have expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Oh, shit. Where is this book at? Here it is. And we got number 12. So three could be very significant. Some of you guys might be turning 33, okay? Or the number three is going to be very important. That is for some of you Pisces. Now, it also could be that for some of you guys, you're finding your purpose. You could be building relationships with certain people, okay? Okay. This could be in your job, your finances, all that shit. This says people will always have their own expectations of who they think you should be. Their opinions are m almost always based on restrictive societal norms and therefore are extremely unrealistic. So no matter what they tell you, remember that you have permission to be whoever it is you most wish to be, Pisces. You don't need anyone else's approval, only yours. So I think y'all know that, okay? 
But don't be having these high expectations. You got the evil queen. You deserve salt, not sugar. <laughs> so some of you, whether you're a male or female Pisces, you know, let it apply. If not, let that motherfucker ride, okay? But you got the evil queen. Some of y'all is Jafar. Y'all is Cruella de Vil. Uh, I feel like you're going to have to get like this with some people, okay? It says you deserve salt, not sugar. So someone in your, in your life is mistreating you. You keep trying to see the good in them, but they just keep disappointing you again and again. Truth is, some people don't deserve second chances. Uh, as difficult as it may be, this is your sign that you need to cut them loose. Unfollow them and block their number. It's time to move on. Do whatever it takes. Find some inner peace for you. It's just as precious as gold. So we're going to be doing some things for ourselves, Pisces. You got sharks. Swim away, swim away from this situation. Okay. So somebody's either being a shark. They are in shark infested waters. Okay. Pisces. And we also got gold. You don't need somebody else. To fix you. You got this. Fuck them hoes. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Because these were back to back. Pisces. All right. Here we go. It says, think of this as the lovers reverse from the traditional tarot. You've been hanging around a bloodthirsty shark and they've hurt you before. You could refer to a lover or it could refer to another loved one. Such as a friend or family member. This could be a foe. Okay, a bitch ass foe. Um, and it says, to put it simply, you deserve better treatment. And you're never going to find it with them. Oh. Leave now. Situations like this often grow so dire that you no longer feel safe. Swim the fuck away. So Pisces, I feel some of you guys already have... Follow suit, okay? Now, for some of you all, this could be, you know, someone that has tried to um, be dependent or was codependent on a situation that you're no longer really invested in. But I really feel like some of you guys are focusing on the here and, and, the, and the now, okay? And there could be some things in the past that you're trying, that you're wanting to relieve from you. But I'm definitely feeling like um, this could be reminiscing. And also, I feel like some of you guys will no longer be controlled in March if you feel like somebody is trying to, um, you know, rule whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Or try to take control over the situation. So, um, for some of you Pisces, it's definitely time to control your own motherfucking world in this bitch. If you're already there, <laughs> I feel like this is a message for some of you all. It's time to make some changes, okay, in March, cutting things off. But I definitely feel like a lot of you guys know that it's, it was definitely time, okay? So, let's see what's up, Pisces. I'm going to get a song card for you. For my Pisces overall theme, what's crowning my Pisces for the month of March? Give us... The energies. We got Cardi B money. Very first card out. Wow. So some of you guys are focused. Okay. Can't nobody knock you off your hustle. Somebody is definitely trying to make the best of their situation. Okay. But I also feel like um, somebody's trying to get up in your drawers, your panties. Okay. For some of y'all, you got in them jeans by genuine. Now y'all know what this is talking about. Okay, now some of y'all, some of y'all might be getting new jeans or something that's fitting and accentuating those curves, or just you know making you feel good and look good. God damn it! So let's see what's up for my Pisces for March. Here we go. We got energy by Run Town. So y'all know I like my Afro beats, okay? But this song is definitely talking about either somebody draining your energy, you giving them your energy, okay? You giving them your time, your patience, your words, all of that shit. I feel like somebody knows that it could be some trouble that's coming around, okay? We got Here Comes Trouble by Chronics. So somebody might be trying to come disturb your energy, baby. We got crush on you once again. With little Kim and uh 
Little seeds, baby. And Body Party by Sierra. Oh, oh Lord. Bless us all. Let's see what's popping, you guys. Somebody is either trying to get in your body, get in your graces, get in your black holes, okay? Or this could be uh somebody trying to blast it off, baby. Lay you down. I feel some of you guys might be taking care of your bodies as well, too, but somebody has a crush here. Let's see what's popping. I'm going to get my golden girls. Give me two cards for what's crowning my Pisces. So I feel somebody is wanting to take all your energy. Okay. There's definitely a lot of sexual tension that's popping. You got the three of cups here and the two of pentacles. Lord have mercy. So Pisces, this is you guys in that celebration. This could be your birthday party. Okay. I feel like for some of you guys with this three of cups, also with the two of pentacles, you're making a final decision. Okay. This could be including family, friends, cutting people off, connections, but making some real decisions if you was juggling, okay, or if there was a lot of things that you could have been outweighing, I feel like there's uh, somebody here, Pisces, that knows that they need to make some real life choices, okay? Now, y'all know how I be feeling like this could be, you know, the peasants, the crowd, but I feel like there's a celebration here. Somebody is celebrating you, giving you your motherfucking roses while you're here, okay? But you're also making some real decisions, some defined decisions, okay? So let's take a look at this love life for my Pisces. I am going to get the romance angels for my Pisces. But I'm, I pick up like... Somebody is either trying, you they trying to figure you out, okay, or you trying to figure them out, figure out what the fuck they want, what they trying to do uh, to you, okay? Whoever this crush is, but you got body party here, okay? The bitch rolling in the chair, dumping water on in a silhouette challenge. And see, I think Sir Sierra was the first in the silhouette. Okay. But you got body party. So somebody is trying to, you know, lay your body down and lick it like a lollipop. <laughs> Pisces, we got heart to heart conversation. Okay. Let's see what else we got. So there is some sort of conversation that's getting ready to pop off. Somebody's got a decision that they're getting ready to make, okay? This could be about your crush or somebody's crush, okay? Or your partner, whatever the case may be. Pisces, somebody has to make a final decision. You're going to have to make some clear decisions, like I said, so that whatever you want, if you set in your affirmations, that's what the fuck you going to get, okay? Now, making a decision, heart-to-heart -heart conversation, and healing family issues is coming out. So I'm getting that either you or your partner is trying to heal from a situation. Okay. Moving away from what is old. And you got unrequited love and codependency. So some of you guys are finding out that motherfucker's ugly. <laughs> okay. Very codependent type of energy. Now y'all know. When you go to the source and you start looking at these people and they parents and they family and shit, you know when shit's fucked up and when it's good, okay? So I feel like some of you guys have seen the source. You have seen all of they ugly, they raw, okay? You didn't see the motherfucking boo-boo, okay, at their worst. You didn't see the strength on their faces. <laughs> you didn't see them, uh, 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 uh. Balding, losing teeth, okay? Struggling in some old shit. The ancestor told you, bitch, no. This is what you're going to get, okay? I remember when I went to go see my uh, child's father. I'm like, uh, oh, is that why the ancestors stopped this from happening? So somebody's a little ugly. 
okay? There is a separation here, okay? I feel like because this person, um, some of you guys could have been dealing with someone who's very deceptive and you found out they truce, okay? We found out all of they ugly. I'm telling you, you peeled their brain back, you found out what you needed to find out, okay? You've been taking care of your business, you've been treating people fairly and shit. But I'm seeing no love here. I feel like um, some of you guys definitely have a new world that's getting ready to pop off, okay? So, yeah, this is somebody's crush, okay? Or you might be finding out somebody's mask is falling the fuck off. One of the two. So this could be for half of you Pisces. I'm seeing somebody's definitely codependent or you're open for some new love with this world energy here that I'm seeing. Let's see what's going down for my Pisces in love. Here we go. Oh, we got the star and the three of wands. So you guys are the star on your end. I feel like on your person's end, they are leaving away from a third party situation, honey. They could have left you standing alone. This also could be Cancerian, okay? Pisces and another Scorpio. Another water sign. But you guys are the star. You have healed yourself. Definitely confirmation that some of you guys are ready for new love, especially during this sep separation. But I feel like for some of you all, your partner definitely could be thinking about a third party or extra people that are in the mix. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, somebody is definitely looking and lurking. Bitch got her binoculars, okay? Seven of Wands here. I feel some of you guys have guarded yourself. All right, but you've healed. So, let's see what's new. In love, we got the King of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. Somebody's definitely scarred or is very scorned here. And very bitter. Ace of Swords, okay? I feel this is what you have done to them, Pisces. You have let their motherfucking ass go, honey. You ain't talking to them, okay? They hurt. King of Pentacles on your side, Pisces. So I feel for a lot of you guys, you're just all about your money, okay? But I do get a lot of Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy here. Now, for some of you, this could be that your person um, can't get back up again. Especially from dealing with you, Pisces. So whoever this person is, I feel like um, they're always in their head or they're in their feelings. Okay, four of wands flying out. Also king of swords. So, yeah, some of you guys have changed the lock and the motherfucking key have changed places on these hoes. Four of wands here. Also devil. Uh-oh, what's this devil energy here for? Where's my cards? There they are. Let's clarify. What's this devil energy here for? For my Pisces. Here we go. It says it's you, not them. So some of you guys definitely have turned your back on this situation. You turned your back on this person. Could be a Capricorn. Okay, also. But I feel like because my blank card is here and it's you, not them. Is indicating to me you guys have ended this situation. You kept yourself busy, okay, prosperous as well. It says somebody's hiding the truth. So somebody is definitely hiding their true self or what they really want and their motives. So let's see what their motive is towards my Pisces in March. What's their motives? You got the Ace of Pentacles, Moon Energy, and Seven of Swords. Uh-oh, we're going to do a hater spread up in this bitch. Okay, I feel like um, you guys are totally going to block them the fuck out. If this person has been sneaky or has been trying to sneak out of a situation, you got the king and the queen of pentacles here. I feel some of you guys are just like, well, whatever, bitch. Emotions on point. Okay, queen of cups here. Okay, I feel like their motives are to definitely um, change the situation, change the pace as though... You know, you didn't hurt them, but I feel like you really hurt them, uh, Pisces, and they in their motherfucking feelings. 
and this motherfucker feels as though they have to sneak around in the situation or they're having to be honest. Okay. Definitely a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I get that a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries wants to start something new, though. Let's see. What's this Two of Cups here for? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo and Taurus, Capricorn, King of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles. So I'm getting that. There's a new energy coming towards you. Okay, but just be careful of that person's motives of the truth coming out about them or you already know it. Your intuition telling you, okay, your dreams telling you, whatever the case may be, Pisces, you guys already know. But there's a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here that you're um, either moving away from or somebody wants to start a new beginning towards you, okay? Because you have the Fool and the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So you guys, like I said, you're all about your money. There's definitely... Um, somebody who's eating good okay eating greedy baby <laughs> but you got mental health here and sit your ass down somebody is definitely coming out with their truth this could be a scorpion energy as well so let's see um what will i have to say to my pisces What they will have to say to my Pisces for the month of March. Here we go. Pisces. All right, we got the King, Knight of Swords here. Okay, and the Seven of Wands and also the Knight of Wands. So they definitely feel like there's a lot of assumptions, okay? Or they, they want to say that they feel that there's a lot of direct energy that they want to communicate with you. Okay, this could be somebody who's trying to act like they're logical and shit, but I feel like they want to take advantage or this could be a fight with the Seven of Wands energy here where they're trying to guard themselves away from the situation. So I definitely feel like for some of you Pisces, you have cut some connections off, okay? You have set some boundaries and I feel like there's a strong character. They, they know that your character is strong, okay? They also expect the worst. They could be trying to um, do some sort of telepathy as well. I'm getting is something about your scent, okay, or your um, pheromones. So they want to tell you that they have a lot of anxiety with this Nine of Swords here, okay, or they are definitely guilty, okay? A lot of tense, different energy, or somebody wanting to motherfucking cry, Okay, they definitely all worked up, staying up at nighttime. <laughs> so I feel like this person feels like, you know, whatever happened, happened. But they know that they can't balance all sides, okay, and their perception this motherfucker definitely has a warped perception here. Page of Cups energy here. Okay, very young-minded as well. King of Cups. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Four of Cups. They definitely know that you've withdrawn from them, okay? Or they feel like, for some of you guys, if they haven't come correct, then, nigga, what is we doing here? Okay, we need to find some solutions. If I'm not happy, uh, baby... You're not about to add to these wrinkles, <laughs> please. Okay. So, Pisces, let's see what's new. And then I'm going to get on out of here, Pisces. What's new for my Pisces in March? In or out of love? What's new for my Pisces in or out of love? All right, we got the Six of Pentacles. Definitely a lot of resources here, okay? This could be somebody sponsoring you as well or some sort of sponsorship. You got, for some of you all, there's someone who's being supported, okay? Financially, this could be legacy. This also could be, you know, knowledge. But I feel like this is major domination as well, okay? Somebody is a dominatrix in this bitch, okay? You might have your leathers, <laughs> Or your skin is definitely uh, 
It can't be cracked. You got the two of one energy here. Very bold, pioneer type of energy. Taking a risk up in this bitch. You got a lot of investments as well or somebody that is willing to take an assessment and an evaluation uh, for some of you guys. But you got the page of pentacles. So I do see that there is some really good practices or you just being very prosperous and enriching yourself, okay? I see a lot of finances coming your way, Pisces. I'm also seeing a good time, some friendship or a bond that's coming together. Some of you guys might be sharing, uh, you know, a friendship. Just could be hospitality or getting together. Could be your birthdays, you know what I'm talking about? But I also feel like with this lover's energy here, this is sexuality. Like I said, with that body party, somebody is definitely struggling with temptation or it just could be that you, you know, have this bond or you're trying to make up your minds on this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay, and Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, because you got the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Also the Hermit energy, so it could be a Virgo one. But I feel some of you guys also feel happy in your uh, solitude, okay? And definitely in a thinking in a new direction or you just being a strong thinker or on your detective work, okay? So... Pisces, I love you guys oh so much. I hope that this resonated because I do see a lot of coinage and also somebody trying to fall in love. All right. I'll see you guys. This definitely is a mercurial energy. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.